all concept uh, of the games playing, I will show you um, the slide, but it is just rough idea that uh, this is like other issues relating to the games. Um, there are something that you should know that uh, the games were, like uh, was developed what very 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 long time and uh, there are some kinds of the games that uh, different. Um, this is the games that it is the imperfect information. Uh, what what is it? Uh, it is the game that uh, you have to like uh, have something that you you already known. This is the perfect information. So uh, everything is like all information that you want to know uh, is shown already. But for the imperfect information, what different? Is it like the card game that uh, you you don't know what is the cards that is like uh, face down? Or you don't know the cards or the like um, other things on your opponent's hand. So we call the imperfect information. And uh, there are two kinds of the games that is the deterministic and chance. Uh, the deterministic uh, is if you want to choose some way you can choose. But for the chance you have to use like the chance of the game like use dice to control or to force that you have to think about uh, this by uh, the number that you got from the from the dice. So uh, this is the players that you can understand the like uh, all the areas of the games. So for the one that is the perfect information and deterministic, uh, you if you if you want to choose this one, it it will be that one. So. Uh, the chess checkers go all auto low, um, and the deterministic but imperfect information is a battleship. Uh, battleship game is like uh, you have, you you if you want to shoot something to your enemy, uh, there are some kind of uh, space ship or battleship that uh, hidden somewhere. Okay, uh, same, uh, but like. Uh, the idea of the games of the chance is to maybe you familiar with backgammon and monopoly, right? Um, it's controlled by the dice, and uh, here this is bridge, bridge. You don't have all informations, and you have to ch a chance also. The poker, scrapple, nuclear war, something like uh, this is the chance. Okay, so this one is already I already told you, and this is the mini max one. And this is the algorithm. Uh, this is uh, if you want to choose something, you got uh, the state as the parameter. You have to return an action, okay? And you have to return an action that maximize the mean values, right? Can you remember? Maximize the mean values, and for to choose the max values, uh, it is that if the terminal test. The terminal test is like uh, uh, if if this is the the end of the game, you have to return some utility function uh, that is to measure how good it is. Okay, uh, if not, if not, if not, you have to find all states, all successes of the states. Uh, you got one state, right? The state is here. You have to generate all successes. And then, and then find the max of min and v. So, so which one is higher? So you have to choose these values, okay? And start and store it in v. And min values is the same, okay? So, uh, this one is the uh, normal minimax, and. This one is the slide from uh, Professor Stuart Russell and Peter Norfi. This is the alpha beta cut or alpha beta pruning that I told you already mentioned in the previous video clips. Um, and here is the alpha and beta cut. This is the algorithm. Okay, uh, so you can see that once you search for max values, it uh, you have to send uh, alpha and beta along the path 
and then uh, same if this terminal test the end of the game return the utility function if not if not if not you have to find the max values and if your max is greater than beta that you can stop searching and return these values if not you have to compare max uh, of alpha and v and store it in alpha and redo so your alpha will be changed by this state okay so uh, so you will be able to see this source code and I show you the source code uh, I will show you the link of course the link to connect for in the YouTube description so uh, what is connect for connect for is a game that uh, has seven columns and six rows uh, I think you can I think you will see from this number uh, from from this from from this games uh, I think we should find uh, this one it is a game connect four games so there are uh, six rows and seven columns so <clears throat> this one is a game that uh, it it can be like it, it is my always my examples because uh, it's not so long to find the answer and uh, you can modify and you can think uh, a lot about how how can you measure it uh, okay uh, I start with with the games here okay uh this one uh i start with the state that is just only empty empty state uh this one it has uh seven columns and this is the if if we play some some uh black and white in any stack in any columns it will be like this so it is black 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 and white okay so so uh, once you have to start it uh, so it means that uh, this one is the start state so nothing here and then and then uh, this one while it's not equal to 40 42 42 is the end game solution okay and I check that okay if this is a white turn uh, it is for the opponent for the human so I have to play some values here okay uh, if this one is like uh, this the column is full already so you cannot place it okay uh, and I push it in C minus one instead okay uh, because uh, this one is like uh, the number of the columns that the end the user enter is start from one two three four five six seven but in in our program we start with zero one two three four five so we, we push it uh, at C minus one the one that we got from from the keyboard so uh, this is a win state okay the values is just only four and minus four so if 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 the value is four it means that uh, your opponent the human will win so you can break if not set the white turn to false and then uh, go to your computer part this is the part of compu computing uh, we start with the thread uh, start the countdown and then I set the terminal flag to be like uh, to make it like a uh, force is at five five uh, five seconds and then uh, we choose alpha beta decision send the state here and push and check is win if it is win just break so let's check the alpha beta decision 
So for alpha, alpha beta decision, uh, we got a global maximum here and uh, try to find um, like uh, a lot of things. <laughs> okay, so this one is the number uh, number of all all turns that already done uh, and I try to set uh, the the max depth once we can find uh, s s res I can set if if it is like a uh, almost start of the state so the number of plates that we push into the stack is like a uh, very low so i will set the max depth to very low one but once we once we uh can find it like uh the less number of of space that we have so we can set the max depth to be higher okay this one and then uh, I have to iterate through all columns and check that and check that if we push the value to that columns and how it is how it is so just uh, try to find the min and send the alpha and beta here and if this is uh, I show you the debug one uh, you can set this flag if this is debug just uh, show the values okay so uh, this is the the code and I think you can understand the code by try to read it but it's very very complicated okay so let's try let's try okay now we are human and we play against the computer uh okay it will start soon so this one this one this is all of uh, all of uh space all of the boards is empty so uh to make it easy if 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 the computer start uh i force it to to push uh black one into the middle columns that is four. So it this is your I'll turn. So uh, I will choose one. And then uh, yes, uh, the computer choose B. So uh, we have to stop this computer from at three or six, because if if it puts uh, at three or six, uh, it has two ways to win us, to beat us. So uh, we have to block one of them. So I think I will choose three. Okay, so your computer is count out five, three, five, four, three, and this is, uh, it can find the answer. So uh, look at this, this is at a uh, column, it put at column one. So, so, uh, I will choose two and wait. Okay, it used five five seconds and all of them are it got the measurement how good it is. Uh there are all three. So for example if I if I push at two for example. This is counting down and the answer is here. Oh, it, it, it push the first, the first column. So I have to stop them. It will be one. So now, uh, it plays at here. So, uh, now, now if I, if I choose to play that for what happened, it will count it down. Okay, minus four, minus four, minus four means that uh, the human can win at 
if you place at oh, column 1 or column 3. Okay, so they choose column 2. Oh, they choose ah, this one. They choose column 2. They choose column 2. Okay, so uh, we have to place at column 2 here. Column 2 of computer means column 3. Uh, so if I choose to play here, what happened? Or if if you want them to want the computer to win, you can try. Uh, you can push three, and then let's see. Yes, uh, it win. Okay. So uh, this is the the row. here for in rows already so you can try by yourself and you can play with it uh, but if I think uh, the in the game, game playing one uh, I plan to teach you n not so much so you can try to understand uh, something like uh, try to find the utility uh, here is the utility function the one that uh, the one that check that is win or not. Okay, uh, this one and I have the values uh, the function that find uh, uh, how good it is for each each board state uh, to count like uh, how many how many white in rows how many how many blacks in rows and try to check the values from from check window here okay okay so uh, you can try to play by yourself it's it is a very standard one so I think you can do you can do you can do better than me for sure okay so I hope you enjoy it